Hi everyone! My name is Ira Purnamo and welcome back to Story Time with Miss Ira! Yippee! So I have heard the news about the SpaceX rocket and that's why I thought hmm what about making a video about science and rockets? So there will be three activities today there will be rockets reading a book and singing one song. So are you ready? Ta-da! I have prepared something for you. What do you think this is? Rockets! Good job! How many rockets are there here? Can we count? One, two, three, four, Five! Good job! Five big and tall rockets are standing on Earth, getting ready. A bunch of engineers wants to let off one rocket. So they push the red button. One, two, three, push! And blast off! How many rockets are there now? Four! Four rockets are getting ready. A bunch of scientists are filling up the tank for the orange rocket so that it's ready to go. In three, two, one, zoom! How many rockets are there now? Three. Three rockets are getting ready. And on a nice, beautiful day where the sky was clear, the blue rocket was ready to go. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> How many rockets are there now? Two! So, it's the school holidays and the children want to see a rocket too. So they ask the engineers to, to let go of the green rocket. So what do you think? Do you want to see the two? In three, two, one, push! How many are there now? One! One purple rocket is standing alone. He felt a little bit lonely and he wanted to go off to the sky all with the other rockets. So he asked the scientist, can I go too? And the scientist said, yes. Okay, so the purple rocket goes. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> How many are there now left on Earth? None. Zero. Good job, everyone. All right. So the second activity, I'm going to read a book to you. And this is about physics. So let's start. The ABCs of physics by Chris Ferry. So I really love um, this author, Chris Ferry, because he writes a lot of books for children, which is about science. And he himself is a father too. So he wants to teach his children um, to become scientists and engineers, which is really great. So let's start. A is for atom. All things are made of atoms. B is for black hole. A black hole is a star so dense that not even light can escape its gravity. C is for charge. It can be positive or negative. D is for diffraction. It happens when a wave hits an object. E is for Einstein. Ooh, he's that very smart guy, right? Yes. He was born German and he lived in the times of your great, great, great grandparents, I think. F is for fusion. It happens when two atoms collide and create a new atom. Oh, maybe it's like two people hugging each other and they become like one person. G is for gravity. It's the force that brings us back down when we jump. H is for heat. So it's whatever that is hot 
a transfer of energy from something hot to something cold. Maybe you can feel the heat from the sun or the heat from the oven when mommy is making cookies, right? I is for ion. An ion is an atom that has more or fewer electrons than it has protons. J is for joule, is the standard unit of energy. K is for Kelvin, it's a standard unit of temperature, just like Celsius or Fahrenheit. L is for liquid, like water, it's a liquid, and when it's solid, it becomes ice cubes. And when it's um, steam, then it becomes a vapor. M is for magnets, just like all those magnets you have on your fridge. N is for Newton. It's a standard you need a force. O is for optics. It's what you see. The study of how light interacts with matter. P is for photon. It has no mass and no electric charge. And you can use it like this scanner here. Q is for quantum. It's the smallest unit of energy. It's so small, so small you cannot see it. R is for relativity. The principle of relativity is that some rules of physics are the same for every observer. S is for string theory, a new theory of physics. Oh, interesting. T is for thermodynamics, the study of how we can use energy to do work for us. U is for uncertainty. When we do not know something, like we see a door and we don't know what's behind it. That's uncertainty. V is for vacuum. There's nothing in it. Nothing. Nothing. Not even air. W is for wavelength. So it's how far waves are. X is for x-ray. So that you can see how your bones look like. Ooh. Y is for yttrium, one of the many elements of the periodic table. Z is for zero point. It's the lowest amount of energy a thing can have. The end. Okay, I hope you really um, enjoyed the book and learned your alphabets, the ABCs of physics. Hooray! So the last thing we want to do is sing a song. So do you know the song, Zoom, 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 We're Going to the Moon? I think it would be fun to sing it together. Are you ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going very soon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Yay! Do you want to do it one more time? Yes! Let's go! Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going very soon. If you want to take a trip, climb on board on my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one. Are you ready? Blast Thank you very much. That was a fun session, right? So, thank you so much for watching my video. And if you want to see more story times with me, please click the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share to others, all right? Thank you very much and see you next time.